Hello guys, today I am going to teach you how to make a macro for the new boss raid using F and TD looter. First, click the extend button here, then press the boss raid button to open the customizer. In this video, I'll use the starter template from the hashtag share channel on Discord to keep things simple and quick. Once we load it up, let's set up our game windows by clicking set windows. Now, since I'm using to Roblox accounts for this macro, I'm going to set the value of minimum game required to 2 and start the game so we can begin telling the macro where to place our units. Once the game is loaded up, let's set the rituals for both accounts by pressing the left bracket key. And remember, if you're using more than one account, don't forget to do this for all of them. Then let's pick a modifier and press B to auto place the starter that's already set in the list box from the template we're using. Wait a few seconds until you hear a click sound so you know it's done placing the unit. Now that it's over, let's set up the upgrade type we'll be using for each unit we're placing and check the auto add box on the bottom left. Since I want to place a unit on the second account, I'm going to press the less than sign key to swap the game windows then press for on my keyboard to select the unit from my hotbar. And finally press C to confirm the placement on the customizer. Repeating the process for the other two placements of my starter. Pressing C each time I place the unit down so the macro knows exactly where to place it. You can check if you're doing this right by looking at the customizer and seeing the unit being added to the list box. Now, I want to go back to my other Roblox account by pressing the less than sign key to swap windows, so I can tell the macro to place an OMC down after placing those starters. Pressing C once again telling the macro to place it exactly right here with upgrades on. Then, I'll swap back to the other account again to place another OMC down right over here, making sure everything is set up on the customizer with the yes option selected for upgrading the unit as soon as it's placed down. Now, I want the macro to place to supports down after it finishes fully upgrading the OMC first, We'll place the shiny lefty right here, followed by a shiny music man right over here, fully upgrading them as if it was the macro running it, as well as the other units we forgot to upgrade to save time getting the units placements. Now swapping back to the main account to place down Frostbite Freddy right over here, fully upgrading it, before moving on the other account to place down another unit. Now that we're back on the second account, I want to place an Overlord Scott right here. I'll press C to confirm it with the macro, and making sure I'm using the correct setting for each unit. Next, I'll place a non-eve dude on the top left, directly to the left side of the overlord. Then, finishing it off with the rest of the endgame units have on the main account. At this point, you should understand how to do it. If not, check out the video in the description for a clearer, more detailed tutorial, as this video is meant for people already familiar with FNTD looter. All right, so whenever we see the boss spawns, die, or when the modifier screen appears, we need to reset our character on all accounts to set up for the map change to ensure we place the unit in the proper spot every time. Once you do that, select a random modifier and wait for the map to change before pressing the rituals key again. Once the map changes, press the rituals key. But as you can see, we spawned in the same map, so if we press V, it should auto-place the units we've already set up. Since we've already done this map, I'll fast forward until the boss spawns. Alright, again whenever the boss spawns, dies, or the modifier screen pops out. That is our key to reset our character so we can set up for the map change. Once we reset our character, pick a random modifier and then wait a few seconds for the map to change and press the rituals key. On boom, you're set up for the next map. You can now press B again to get the map info and start placing our template starters. We're going to repeat this and the previous step from the last map until we have all the units placed for every map. Since you already understand the basics and know what to do, I'll skip ahead to when we finish the last map. Alright, once you've set up all the unit placements for every map, we're going to start by removing all the units and pressing save on the program. Then, we'll begin testing to see if the macro is working properly. We're going to close the program and restart to run the macro we just created. Once you opened it, look for the macro you just created on the Dropbox. Once you see it, make sure to select it and press E to start it. This is the end of the video. Feel free to continue watching to see how the macro works. Thanks and enjoy.